In this lesson, we will explore group policy management, one of the most powerful feature of Active Directory. Group policies let you to define and enforce system configurations, security settings, and software deployments across all domain joint devices. So group policy, what is a group policy? It is a framework that lets administrators configure settings for users and computers across a domain. These settings are defined in group policy objects or called as GPOs and are applied based on where the object is linked uh, across a site or a domain or OU. So you can apply a group policy uh, to a OU level or a domain level or a site level uh, so when you create a group policy you can apply it uh, to to any of this uh, but there is a hierarchy uh, that group policy follows that is from local uh, to site then domain then uh, to ou so the closer the gpo is to the object like a user or computer the higher its priority you can also filter GPOs using security groups and apply enforced or blocked uh, inheritance uh, wherever you need it. To understand the group policy hierarchy and precedence a better way, let's imagine a company called IT Pro Guide with the following structure. The company has a domain itproguide.com. Inside the domain there is a OU called HR. Inside the HROU, there is a user named Sara. You want to apply different policies at different level. The local GPU, that is the, the local computer, the workstation of Sara, the Go policy is set to way like allows changing the desktop wallpaper. So, you know, you can change the, your desktop wallpaper at any time. That is because in your local GPU, it is allowed to change. Then the domain level GPO, it enforces a specific password policy. Uh, for example, complex uh, uh, password, then also minimum eight uh, characters like that. Then at the OU level GPO, OU level GPO forces a company branded wallpaper. So if you look at the policies, the local GPO is allowing to change the desktop wallpaper, but at the same time, the OU level GPO uh, forces a company branded wallpaper. So now it is time to know which policy is going to win. The password policy from the domain GPO is applied because uh, the local can't overwrite it. Domain have the highest uh, precedence. The wallpaper policy, which the local GPO and OU level GPO has uh, different configuration. So here, the HR OU, the HR organizational unit going to take priority over the local GPO because the OU level GPO is closer to the user object. How do you manage group policies in Windows Server 2025? To manage group policies, open the group policy management console on your domain controller. From there, you can create, link and edit GPOs. So the group policy management editor is used to configure the settings and apply them immediately with a command called gp update slash force. Let's apply a group policy. So to set a default wallpaper on Windows 11 client. First, we will create a new GPO called the set wallpaper and link it to the appropriate OU. So inside the GPO, we will enable desktop wallpaper policy and point it to a shared image file. So you need an image file that you prefer to set as wallpaper. Then you need to create a shared folder, put the image file there. On Windows 11 PC, we will refresh the group policy using GP update slash force. And after re-logging, the wallpaper will automatically apply. And that is showing the GPO in action. Open the group policy management tool from tools from the server manager. Then expand forest, then domain, then you find HR folder. So this organizational unit is what we're gonna apply the group policy. So create a new GPO, enter a meaningful name, 
So here I'm going to set wallpaper. So I would set wallpaper. Then click OK. Then we need to find out the policy. For that, double click on it. Then expand preferences. Then administrative template. Then go to desktop. Then again, desktop. Then you can see desktop wallpaper. It's not configured at the moment, so you enable it. Then enter the shared folder uh, location. So I'm going to put this in the C drive in a folder called shared folder. Share. Then I move the wallpaper to that folder. Then go to the properties, give access to specific people. I put everyone. Then click share. Now you see it is shared over domain slash shared. So I write the same here slash slash domain slash shared. Then the name of the wallpaper that is wall.png. Then wallpaper style is to fill. Then click OK. So now we completed the configuration. Now let us switch to Windows 11 to fi figure out how the wallpaper set from GPU is going to work. Now nothing changed, so let's open the command prompt, then type GP update, that is group policy update slash force, and this is going to update the group policy. Now let us log off and log in to the Windows 11. Now let's log in back, so this time I'm going to log in as a normal user. Let's put our HR user Ben, then the password. And now you should see the wallpaper that we set. So the default wallpaper of Windows 11 is no more going to show. And it is showing the custom wallpaper that we set through the group policy. So group policies can be used for hundreds of settings. Some popular examples include enforcing password policies, disabling USB storage, redirecting folders to a server uh, or, or deploying software or locking down user interface elements. To summarize, group policy is a foundation tool in any domain environment. It allows you to manage hundreds of settings centrally, saving time and ensuring consistency across your network.